Hello people, welcome to Saturday, March 18th. Uh, this is just a follow-up video from my previous video on testing the deep isolation uh, frame cage uh, you can purchase from Betterbee. Uh, I should mention on the Betterbee website, it lists all of the features, all of the different types of uses. Um, the issues that I'm pointing out are also mentioned on the website. Um, so yes, uh, do be prepared to have a piece of cardboard or uh, propolis or wax to block up the ends if you're using it for queen isolation and the box doesn't fit um, as it's supposed to. So without further ado, let me go ahead and take that frame out of the cage. Let's see if we have any eggs on there. Um, if it doesn't happen, then hey, I might just need to use a different colony that has more bees in it. So uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so my approach here, I'm going to take the feeder off, take the top off. I'm going to take the top bar of the isolation cage off, and I'm just going to lift the frame out of the cage. So instead of picking the entire cage up, I'm just going to leave the cage inside the hive, remove the frame carefully and slowly. Hopefully I still have a queen and I didn't squish her, and hopefully when I look inside the cells, uh, I'll see eggs. So let's see what happens. So the good news is I didn't kill the queen. Uh, can you see her? Nice, big, healthy queen. So that's a great success. There she's laying. Can you see her? Put her butt down in the cell. Laying an egg as we speak. And uh, as I did look in the cells, yeah, there are lots of young larvae. So this is perfect. It worked. It worked, my first attempt. The colony is just a, a medium size five frame nucleus. So let me see, there she goes again. She's laying it up. Can you see the queen? Nice big queen. Getting the job done. So I know the, the video is not going to pick up the eggs. So maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll move the queen onto a different frame and uh, brush the bees off. And uh, see if we can do some grafting. So, awesome. I'm going to call this a success right off the bat. Despite the minor conditions, very, very, very excellent product. I'd say it's well worth it. So... Awesome. I'm just happy I didn't kill her. Now, I like to mark my frames uh, using push pins. So, this push pin was used as a marking for foundation. So, I know that was a foundation frame. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this push pin here on this frame. That will know that's my grafting frame. Uh, yes, I do believe this is worth the cost. It's worth the shipping. It's a very quality product and I am definitely not regretting my purchase. So go ahead and grab one. Check out the link to Frederick Dunn's article. Uh, check out the other videos. Uh, put the search into YouTube. I'm sure there's other demos out there. So uh, thanks again for your time. And I just thought this was useful and I wanted to share uh, my progress. So keep on keeping on.